Do not. I repeat, do not. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Now we got that squared away. Do not try to trade options, stock, whatever, if you're not going to be in front of the computer. Do not do that, ever. If you know that you're not gonna be able to watch your day trade, be sitting in front of the computer, do not place a trade. Forget about it, just forget about it. Let me tell you about the trade that I made today, guys. Boy, I broke one of my biggest, biggest, biggest rules today. But I do want to start out by saying it was a winning trade. It was a winning trade. <laughs> it was a winning trade. It was, it was a decent trade. But I had to work all day long at my um, part-time job. Occasionally glance at the markets while I'm working. It's it's allowed. First of all, it's definitely allowed. I saw uh, an opportunity. I saw that I could have um, I could be getting a signal, and I did. I was at work. That wasn't so much the issue. The issue was I was literally about to clock out, and um, I had to go run some very important errands on my um, hour lunch. And I knew this going into the trade. I knew it so well. It is extremely dumb, guys. It really, really is. It's it's ridiculous to um, be a day trader where, you know, every second counts almost. But my strategy definitely entails being in front of the computer and ba basically babysitting it. That's incredibly stupid on my part uh, because not only could I not watch it really? Um, I could watch it on my phone, but I was driving. It just, everything about today's trade was bad, except for the fact that I, I it was a green train. And on top of that, um, I don't know the the app really well, the Tastyworks um, app very well at all. In fact, I didn't know how to sell. I was up and I had to call up my representative while I was out on my errands at, at the bank and it, it just, you got, don't do it guys. Do not day trade if you're not gonna be in front of the computer. With that being said, I was really smart about being dumb. What I mean by that is understanding that I wasn't able to watch the market, watch my trade uh, like I usually do. I went a little bit further out and I made sure that I was in the money. By then, I mean my expiration was next Friday, I believe, um, on the queues. I traded the queues today. So that's my trading tip of the day for Friday. Do not day trade if you're not in front of your computer screens, watching as that trade unfolds. If something were to happen, be sure that you're there, you have your Basically, your plan and plan A, B, and C, should something go wrong, make sure that you have you know your phone numbers to your brokers on speed dial, basically. So if you're going to be dumb, like I was today, at least try to be smart about it. So let me show you today's trade really quick. Here's my trade, guys. Uh, obviously, I've traded the queues. I bought two of the 167.50 calls that expire in seven days. And I went with the queues because um, just to give me, to not give me that temptation to trade spy um, three days out, understanding that I couldn't watch the uh, trade unfold. Um, so in case something really bad happened, I wouldn't be losing a whole lot. That was my logic there anyway. So I bought two at 193 and I sold them both at 205. This actually was uh, called in to T a Tastyworks representative and he actually executed my exit trade there. So, um, and here is the signal I got on the queues. Um, got it right here. I got in essentially at the start of this candle here. I had to endure a little bit of pain before it actually started going back up. 
and my original plan was um, to exit at 210. That was going to give me my 10%. But I chickened out, of course, because I wasn't in front of my computer. And, and I was I was the high there for, for quite a bit, actually. Um, let me just check here at 1215, which is 1050. No, 1215. Yeah. So let's see. I sold right here. 205 oh no that wasn't the uh uh the high there actually I, I was close to the high there for for a little bit and then it went to 210 and i actually saw the uh ask price a little bit above 211 212 somewhere around there the bid price but that was my signal guys there you have it folks that was my trade for today it was green i'm happy about that um it was very stressful um to say the least but there you go it was green don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit that bell notification guys so you can get notified the moment that i upload a video and don't forget to like and share my, uh, my video and comment down below comment down below what you thought about this video did you hate it did you love it what did you make money on what did you lose money on let's stay profitable guys take care